This video is to show you how to access the, um, the content in the Business Calculus class. So welcome to Business Calculus Math 211. This is the main court, um, page of the course. There's um, different links you can go to here from Start Here, Modules, the Syllabus, and even more resources that are available. Well, we're going to start here and go to the modules. I'm going to go to the start here module. You can either use in the toolbar over to the right, sorry, to the left, or you can click on the start here on the main page. So we're going to go into the modules. And we are here at the course welcome start here page. This has all the information about the structure of the course. Please make sure you've read all of these pieces of information. They're all here for you to see kind of what's going on. There is a course orientation that must be done by the first week of the class. And so in here, you will actually go through an activity where you will learn the different structures and different pieces of the course. After that, each module has, um, there's an algebra review module um, that has information for you, an introduction, a student discussion for help on algebra review. This is where you can post questions and then um, students can answer questions. I will answer questions after a certain amount of time, but it's your chance of asking and answering questions for each other. You learn an awful lot from answering other people's questions. Then there are guided notes, videos, and check your understanding problems for the different topics we're doing in the course. If you click on these, you will see in here, you'll see some guided notes you can download and fill out. There will be some um, information about the textbook and where you can look, click on it. The textbook is an open source book, which is free to use online. So you can just click on those and that will access this information. Then there'll be videos for you to watch while you're filling out the guided notes. Um, there's some check your understanding problems. These are problems that you just work through on your own to just make sure you understand the concepts. They are not graded. They are for you to continue doing. You can continue doing every problem over and over again until you get 100%. If you don't get 100% on these problems, then you can ask me for help. You can ask your fellow students for help. You can obtain help in the tutoring center. You can read, read the, the textbook and you can rewatch the videos. There are also are some group works that are sometimes need to be done. And the group works, um, if you click, go to the next page and go to, let's go back to modules. Um, there's group works that you'll be working on. And to you have to sign up for a group work during the first week. So let's see, there's the group work. Um, the group work, there's gonna be some documents here. There's also gonna be documents in the group section. We'll get more into that later, but you can work on these documents You can go to the group section and work on them there. You do need to sign up for a group. To sign up for a group, you click on the people over here in the toolbar. And then you'll see different groups that you can pick. I don't actually get to see those because I'm the teacher, but you can then pick a group and you can actually just click on which group you'd like to be in. There are eight different groups that you can get into. You need to pick those fairly early because the first group work assignment is actually due at the end of the first week. Uh, these are activities for you to work on together in groups to make sure that you as individuals and as a group can come up with similar answers, make sure you all understand what's going on and make sure that you can see how the topics get applied. Um, you can also in this look at your grades. So you can click on grades and that will show you the grades that you have in the course um, right now. Obviously, there are no grades at the moment, but you can see that there are grades that are available. You can also look to see um, the syllabus. Make sure you've read the syllabus. You can click on the syllabus here, or you can get to the syllabus on the Start Here page. Make sure you've read your syllabus. There are also the calendar. So make sure you look at the calendar. The calendar has um, information for you as to when things are due. So you can see here's your due dates of information. As you can see, there is the guided notes during the first week. You have to read through and the group work during the first week. And then that course orientation is due. And then the homework. There's something due every day. It looks like a terrible thing, but most of these are very small and very short. They're just to kind of get you some ideas of what's happening. 
going back to our course, we can also see the um, course in college information page. This is where you can find out information about college's services. So please make sure you've read through this page in addition to what else we're doing. Um, sorry, I got lost. There we go. Uh, then the other thing you can also do, so lost. The last thing you can look at is this um, Canvas support guides for you to look at. There's also one last thing I do want to mention is that in the modules, I do have office hours listed in the Start Here module. There is a Zoom link in there. If you want to come to my office, you can. I'm on the Lone Tree campus. Or you can click on the Zoom link and go into the Zoom. Um, good luck with this class, and let me know if you have any questions. This is my job is to help you.